In this video, we're going to be looking at how to install WordPress on your Namecheap shared hosting. And this is a relatively quick video only because it's such a super simple process to install WordPress with Namecheap. So let's jump right into it. The first thing you wanna do is go to your domain name slash cPanel. In my case, it's serial.guru slash cPanel. Enter your credentials at the login page and then you'll be presented with the cPanel dashboard. There's a lot of stuff here, so don't get too overwhelmed. The only thing we're interested in is the WordPress button down at the bottom. This is gonna allow us to install WordPress on our host. So go ahead and click on that. And on the resulting page, you'll see install now button. So go ahead and click on that. Now we want the latest version, that's just default select at 521. All these defaults look good. Change your site name to whatever it is. In my case, it's Serial Guru. I'm gonna have the site description be the Serial Guru. For the admin account, choose some strong credentials. Don't do something stupid like I'm doing and using password as my password. I'm gonna be changing this later on, so uh, don't try to hack into my site. Pick whatever admin email account you want. In the next lesson, we're actually gonna look at how to set up this email account. Scroll down a little bit. Um, I like to check these two boxes here, limit login attempts and the classic editor. It's up to you if you want that, but by default, I'm checking those. Let's expand these advanced options here. I'm gonna check the auto upgrade for the database just because that's a really good idea to have the latest version of the database. I'm not gonna check the auto upgrade for WordPress plugins or WordPress themes. That's something that you wanna do manually just to make sure you ensure compatibility between all your plugins and your themes. So. It's up to you, but I'm not gonna check those. Backups, by default, they don't have backups selected. I'm gonna choose backup once a week and 10 rotation backups, which means you're gonna have at most 10 versions of your website backed up for, what is that, two and a half months out. So moving right along, you're gonna to wanna to select one of these themes, but in a future tutorial, we are going to replace the theme that we choose here with another theme, the Generate Press theme, which I highly recommend, not only for SEO purposes, but for speed and many other factors, which we'll get into in a future lesson. So pick whatever you want here and then click on Install. The installation takes quick, maybe like 10 seconds, and there you go, you have WordPress installed on your website. So go ahead and click on the link to your website and you'll see a very basic WordPress website. There's not content on it, we haven't created it, but it's there, it's good, we're making progress. Go back to your other tab and there's a link to your WordPress dashboard where you can log into your WordPress website. You're gonna use the credentials that you just created on the previous screen, so go ahead and type those in. Hit login and there you go, you have your WordPress dashboard. WordPress is now installed on your Namecheap hosting plan.